Clint Dempsey, welcome home. How does it feel? <laughs> Feels good to be back. I mean, this has always kind of felt like my home in, in, in Europe and uh, just excited uh, to be back and, and be a part of uh, this team and, and play in this league. Tell me what your decision was in, in coming back. Obviously, you're in the States now and it's the off season over there. Is this about World Cup keeping fit for you? It's a lot of different things uh, for me. Just wanted to get back to, you know, playing at the highest level, get back to, you know, top form, um, getting back and, and helping the team in, in, uh, in, in a situation where they're not where they want to be in the table. But yeah, going into a World Cup year, you want to get to that top form and, and, and carry that, that forward. So hopefully you can have a, a good showing. It's been a year away now and you had the spell at Spurs and then you went back to the States. Can you give us a little overview of that for you? professionally personally how, how did that feel yeah i mean it was good for me to to go and, and and to be a part of a team that was trying to push for a champions league spot and to to see what that was going to be like and uh it was good in the sense of getting 72 points i think it's the one of the highest points total that they've had in, in a season and then um the opportunity came for me to get back to the states and you know i always knew eventually that that's where i wanted to, to end my career and and wanted to raise my kids i have three kids now and yeah i mean for me that's the lead that gave me uh, my start gave me a chance to become a, a, a professional. So I always knew that I wanted to go back and finish my career there, raise my kids there, and be closer to family. And um, wanted to go back more when I was, you know, still in, in my prime and still able to to do something instead of go back when you're when you're past it and be someone just kind of taking up space. So excited about being back and help continue the growth of the game uh, in the states. But it's good to be back here. This is like I said, it's always this has always felt right to me. This has always felt like home. Uh, you know, playing at Fulham and, and, and being over here in Europe and I'm excited to help the team out. And of course we have an American chairman now who I know that you met as well on Saturday. Did he have any words of encouragement for you for the next couple of months? Oh yeah, I mean he was just uh, get some goals so uh, you know that's, that's, that's the game plan, go out there and give everything I have and you know if I get the opportunity to play, uh, make the most of it and, and, and take some shots. You watched the game. It was a fantastic performance against Manchester City, but no points. That's kind of indicative of the last four games. How did you, how did you see the game, and what do you think you can do to 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 bring to that squad? Yeah, I thought the boys showed good commitment. Uh, showed a lot of heart. Everybody was working really hard for each other and, and and trying to get a result. And you think, you know, at two two, that it's either going to be a at least get a point or, or push on for the win. So. I'm sure it's very frustrating to, to have not got anything out of that game in which they put so much into it. But, you know, the, the evidence is there, the signs are there that, you know, that's a team that's fighting for, for any points that they can get and that they keep with that same mentality that there shouldn't be any problem climbing up the table. You've been in and around the squad for the last few days now since having a medical and doing some training. How do you see the spirit in the camp? Do you think it's a team that has that, that commitment and that desire to, to stay in this league? Yeah, I think so. I mean, this is a club that, that's always kind of had that. When, when times are tough, I think that people come together and they, and they fight for each other and they've been in tough situations before and, and they've gotten out and I don't think this time will be any different. I think the boys will stick together and do what it takes uh, to make sure that they climb up the tables as fast as they can. But at the end of the day, that's all you can do when you're in a tough time is come together. And I think the boys uh, have done that. And, and from that last game that you saw that, you know, the signs are there that everybody's together and fighting hard for each other. And that's all you can ask for. So there are a lot of pivotal games coming up now. Are you going to be traveling with the team to, to Hull and to on Boxing Day to Norwich? Or will you be having some time with your family and, and concentrating on being here and getting fit and getting some minutes out there training? Yeah, I mean, the idea right now is just to keep working on fitness and, uh, you know, my family will leave on the 26th on Boxing Day to, to go back to the States and then I'll be over here and, and, and I'll be with the team, just continue working hard, try to make sure that when I am able to play that I'll be playing at the, the highest level possible. So we, we'll just have to wait and see as far as where I'll be traveling to watch the games, but uh, I'll try to catch as many games as I can and, you know, root the boys on. Have you spoken to Rennie about your kind of targets and, and what you want to achieve, minutes on the pitch or goals, ratio or anything like that? Or is it just, you know, really playing every game as it comes? Yeah, you have to take it one game at a time. I got an opportunity to talk to him a little bit uh, on the phone and, uh, you know, face to face when, when I was here. And, um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm excited about being here and being a part of this, this team again and, and trying to fight and get out of the situation that we're in. But, um, yeah, just looking to be in the in the attacking third and, and trying to help the team get goals and 
try to help in any way possible, really. I know that the guys have already put a lot of hard work in uh, this season, and I'm just kind of here to help out, really. Um, so if they need me to play, I'm ready, and uh, hopefully I can help the team out. And have you got a message for any of the Fulham fans? Obviously, it was a tricky time when you left to go to Spurs, and after such a long time playing here and being such a great servant to the club, there was a you know a little bit of animosity with mm -hmm. a, with a few of the fans. Do you have a message for any of those? Yeah, I mean, you know, I think anybody, you know, with the family, they go through tough times, and and people, you know, as far as growing up, they they're at home, then they go and see the rest of the world, and they come back, and you appreciate home a lot more. So I think sometimes you have to go to to appreciate things a little bit more. You don't know know what you have until until it's gone. So happy to be here, and um, sorry if I upset anybody, but. Uh, you know, I had a great time here. Some of my best years in, uh, in my football have been, you know, playing, playing for this club. And, you know, that's why I was excited about coming back to here because this is where it's kind of always felt like home to me. And, and I hope that I can help out in this situation to, to make sure that we continue uh, helping this, this club be in, in the Premier League. We're all delighted to have you back. All right. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah.